Hepburn here with Boundless Landscapes and I wanted to talk to you today about garlic. So if you have grown garlic at home this season, the chances are that you have already cured your garlic, which means basically letting it dry for a few weeks. If you have already cured your garlic, then you're all right to go ahead and store your garlic. And when you're storing your garlic, you have a few different options for how you're going to store it. Uh, now the first path you could take is storing your garlic for consumption so that you could go ahead and eat that. The other option is storing your garlic or at least some of your garlic for, um, for replanting in October this year so that you can have another crop next year, which I highly recommend doing. If you're going to be storing your garlic to eat it, what I'm going to recommend is that you go ahead and pick a dark, dry place in your house to store it. You want to make sure that you've snipped the tops off of the bulbs so that they look like this. And then go ahead and, like I said, find a dark, dry place that is relatively cool. So if that place in your house is your basement, just try to make sure you're not setting your garlic right next to your furnace or something that would be taking off heat or humidity. If your storage place is in your pantry or in a cabinet in your house, go ahead and make sure that you're setting your bulbs away from any appliances like your oven or the top of your fridge that also kick off a lot of heat. And if you have a fish tank or something like that, keep the garlic away from it because that moisture is no good. And if you do that properly, you can easily store this garlic throughout the winter time. Now, if you want to store garlic so that you can plant it, what I recommend is setting the bulbs aside in a dark place until October or so. And then right after the ground has at least frozen a little bit, you can go ahead and dig your garlic about eight inches down into the ground and go ahead and plant it clove by clove. And the fun thing is that each of these garlic cloves within this garlic bulb are going to become bulbs themselves. Just keep in mind that garlic needs full sun when you do plant it over the winter time. It might need a little bit of supplemental water. It needs a lot of nutrients like fertilizer. And it's going to be in the ground until June or July next year. So don't plant it where you want to say plant your tomatoes or your peppers or your squash next year. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and reach out to Boundless Landscapes and we'd be happy to help you figure out how you should best store your garlic.